the future of American space leadership. We're going to lead again. It's been a long time. It's over 25 years. And uh, we're opening up, and we are going to be leading again like we've never led before. We're a nation of pioneers, and the next great American frontier is space. And we never completed. We started, but we never completed. We stopped. But now we start again. We have tremendous spirit. We're going to have tremendous spirit from the private sector, maybe in particular from the private sector. I'd like to extend a special welcome to an American hero who I've known, actually, for a long time, Buzz Aldrin, who is with us today. During the campaign, Vice President Pence promised that our administration, because Mike's very much into space, would revive the National Space Council. And with this executive order, we're keeping that promise. I feel very strongly about it. I felt strongly about it for a long time. I used to say, before doing what I did, I used to say, what happened? Why aren't we moving forward? Today's announcement sends a clear signal to the world that we are restoring America's proud legacy of leadership in space. Our Vice President cares very deeply about space policy. And for good reason, space exploration is not only essential to our character as a nation, but also our economy and our great nation's security. The Council will also draw the expertise of other White House offices, as well as insights from scientists, innovators, and business leaders from across the country. We have many business leaders that want to be a big part of this. I think private — the privatization of certain aspects is going to be very — it's going to play a very crucial role, don't you think? They are truly into it.